I'm now joined from Beijing by Yong Yudgong. He is a professor at the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. Let's talk about uh, steps because we've talked in the past year or so about the various steps the space program has taken. So how important, how significant is this step? Uh, well, good evening, Mike. So nice to talk with you again. And uh, for this uh, launch, it is so important because it is very essential and very important for future uh, China's space program, not only for the manned space program, but also for China's future deep space uh, exploration programs. Uh, and uh, with this uh, launch vehicle, we have already uh, placed uh, the second or the third row in the capability of the launch vehicles. For many, so many years, you know that uh, China, although we already has the largest uh, count of the launches uh, just behind and U.S. and Russia, but the capability of China's launch vehicle is far behind other countries, such as U.S., Russia, European countries, and Japan. So this time, it is the right moment for China to develop this kind of launch vehicle, which has the capability uh, of about 20 times to low Earth orbit, which is necessary for China's manned space uh, station modules, and also uh, the 14 ton to the geosynchronous orbit, which is also very essential for future the lunar sample return mission. And last month, uh, two astronauts blasted off from the Gobi Desert. They'll be up in space until much later this month. President Xi Jinping at the time calling for China's astronauts to explore space more deeply and more broadly. And we will be seeing more and more of this in the future, won't we, with the full operations of the space shuttle expected sometime in like 2022, right? Uh, yes, uh, actually speaking, all the three modules the, of the future China uh, space station will be launched by this uh, Long March 5 series, uh, the Tianhe 1. Uh, experimental module, the core module, will be launched in 2018. And uh, the sex, uh, its successor will be the two experimental modules called Wentian and Mengtian. All these three modules has a, a mass, a total mass, about uh, more than 20 ton level. So uh, these modules can only be launched by the Long March 5 series. Actually speaking, is Long March 5B. Uh, the long, launch vehicle launched yesterday is Long March 5, which uh, has a two and a half stage, uh, mainly used to launch uh, high orbit payloads. And uh, the next year we will launch Long March 5B, which will have one and a half stage, uh, which have a very uh, different uh, specification uh, comparing with Long March 5. But uh, this is a good foundation for the next year's mission uh, of the Long March 5B. And I hope that it will be a complete success. Mr. Yang, always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for joining us from Beijing.